Hello, I'm Bob Allison, WB1GCM, here at the ARRL Laboratory. Let's take a look at the Yaesu FTM3200DR. Right off the bat, you can see that the FTM3200DR is very well constructed. It has a very, very solid case. It has a front-facing speaker that projects the sound out to the operator. That's a good thing. Uh, minimalist buttons and controls. Let's turn it around and see the back side. And we have here the antenna connection, a cooling fan, your external speaker connection, your DC power is here, and the data connection. This is for updating your firmware when new firmware comes out. Well, I've turned it on and this is the power button right here. As I said before, minimalist controls. We have the volume control here. Right here, this little slot, let me press the mic, and that's a that's a, an LED. It lights up different colors depending upon if you're receiving, if you're transmitting, if you're in the different uh, digital mode or analog mode. Uh, and it's a, a status indicator. Frequency display. This is your frequency select knob, or you can select various memories. Microphone goes in here. Here's your squelch button and your transmitter power output button. These buttons are dual function. If you press it once quickly, for instance, it does squelch, press it again. Or if I press and hold it down, it uh, selects the transmitter power output which I can change with a knob low medium and high power press it again and you're out this is your repeater reverse switch and dual watch digital or analog modes press this to go into digital there we go just like that and back to analog and if I press and hold this button it uh, turns on the group monitor function Megahertz, simply press the megahertz button to tune megahertz, just like this, up and down, get out of that, and press and hold to get into the menus. Squelch type, let's see, if I press it again, it's off, or I'll turn on the squelch tone, just like that. Press it again, and again, and hold, and we're out of there, here we go. This is your VFO and memory button and your memory write button. This is an easy transceiver to operate. You certainly don't need a helicopter's pilot license to run it. Here's the hand microphone with all of its buttons. Keypad, uh, four function buttons. Let's see, uh, you press P1. That opens the squelch for those weak signals. P2 toggles the radio from What's on your dial to your home frequency? Oh, look, 146.52, my home frequency. Simplex calling frequency. P3 changes from analog to digital. And P4 turns on the National Weather Service. Thursday. Low tide is at 5.07 p.m. Thursday at 5.26 p.m. Friday. Very good. That guy has an exciting job. And the FTM3200DR comes with a real paper manual. Spare fuses, mounting hardware for the mobile mounting bracket, and a programming cable. Good overall transceiver. I'm Bob Allison, WB1GCM here at the ARL Laboratory.